but we expect it to be a full-blown hurricane still um, at 1 a.m. Friday, well into South Central, Central Georgia. So we also have tropical storm warnings almost up into Tennessee. Um, it wouldn't be surprising, you know, if we saw a Pigeon Forge tropical storm warning at some point here. Welcome everyone. It's hurricane season again, and here in the Great Smoky Mountains, we are currently feeling the full effects. According to some projections, the path of Hurricane Helene is set to directly hit our area. But ahead of the tropical storm, inches of rain have already dumped on Sevier County. East Tennessee communities dealing with the weather and preparing for what's still to come. Active flood watches in East Tennessee as storms move through our area. And right now, some roads in Sevier County are closed due to flooding. Drivers also seeing big impacts from the rain we've been getting over the past 48 hours, notably hard hit tonight, Sevier County. The emergency management agency there posting these pictures to Facebook showing standing water on Mary Ridge Farm Road, at Walden's Creek Road, and elsewhere on Walden's Creek Road, more standing water at the Old Valley Road intersection. Unfortunately, those pictures also show drivers plowing through the high water. Remember what we always say, turn around, don't drown. Sevier County EMA has been updating a list of road issues. It includes what we just mentioned, Old Valley Road and Walden's Creek Road closed and flooding. Mary's Ridge Road has one lane open, so does Little Cove Road. And also, you will run into closures on Lonesome Pine Road due to a tree down on a power line. New Era Road is closed due to flooding. More downed trees blocking Indigo Lane, and the county is reporting a road collapse on Legacy Vista Drive at Peach Orchard Drive. I want to be very clear about something. Even though we're going to be experiencing heavy rain and potential for flash flooding and everything that comes with that, this is nothing compared to what's happening along the Big Bend in Florida and hundreds of miles inland. Meteorologists have called that situation unsurvivable in Florida. While we will be dealing with our own challenges, it is not that. Let's get some more information from a couple more news sources, and then we will show you what we've been experiencing on the ground here. Sevier County EMA who says local fire, police, and city agencies are working together to ensure people's safety, and that the Sevierville Fire Department says it's prepared boats and other supplies in case crews need to rescue someone. They say if they expect the weather to take a turn for the worse, they can and will call in more people for help. Yes, you heard that correctly. They said boats. I think this is a clear indication of how first responders believe this may end up progressing. In fact, we have a high risk shaping up east of Knoxville for flash flooding for tomorrow. That means numerous flash flooding events are possible. So are some significant events. But do you notice the pinkish purple shading on the North Carolina side? An extreme risk. So big concerns if you're traveling 26 or 40, especially over to the North Carolina side for tomorrow. Elevated risk as well for Friday due to some flooding, a medium risk. And part of this is going to be from the remnants of Helene that it's going to be heading our way. Yes, if you're on the North Carolina side of the Smokies right now, you've already been inundated with water, but more is coming. I've seen estimates up to 20 inches that's going to be falling on Western North Carolina and Western South Carolina. So if you're in those locations, you probably already know, but be safe. And now we're going to hear a little bit from my favorite YouTube weatherman, Ryan Hall, y'all. I think that the, the, the people who need to be most concerned about the, the rainfall are going to be right here along the Appalachian Mountains because all of this moisture, it wants to go farther, right? This wants to be a much bigger rainstorm over here, but all of that moisture is getting raked out of the sky, essentially, by the, um, by the mountains, and that's all going to come down into the valleys and cause tons of problems. So this is the progression of what the storm could look like. NAM, you know, predicts landfall a little bit later than some of the other uh, models, but uh, you can see that it's going to be a widespread, long duration event uh, for a lot of people. And he is also of the opinion that Western North Carolina, Western South Carolina is in for a lot of rain. You dump 10 to 20 inches of rain in the Appalachian Mountains and let it hit the valleys and it's going to be big trouble. We also took the opportunity to talk to a park official about what they were experiencing on the ground and what they anticipated dealing with moving forward. 
I don't think they're doing any road closures. I mean, I guess a lot it's of the, highly dependent. A lot of the roads are closed. Okay. The road over the mountain will close at 2 o'clock today. That's the major road. Okay, so it, and it will be right out here at the gate, right? Both the sides will be closed at 2. Okay. And you anticipate that being closed until probably like Friday afternoon or so? Well, depends on this wind's coming in tonight. If so, the no. trees don't come down tonight, then, then we're good again. after we drive it in the morning, you'll open around 10. But until Without the wind, we probably wouldn't even have a closure up here, right? Well, we've had so much rain. It doesn't take much to bring these trees down when we've had this much rain. Uh, but without the wind, uh, a lot of the roads are closed because of high water. So, uh, how much, do you know how much like it's forecasted for like on the peaks, like over the next 24 hours? The wind uh, tonight on the peak is supposed to be up to 80 knots, 80 miles an hour. Now the girls come to a lot of stuff with us, but not typically when I'm filming weather. So it was awesome to have my little sidekick JC with me along for this journey. And now we're going to take you around the area to show you what we were seeing on the ground in Gatlinburg. Take notice as there will be clips from Wednesday and Thursday here, and it will be noted on the screen. You will be able to see differences in the water depth from one day to the next. It's also important to note that there was barely any water in this river whatsoever as of two days ago. So now I'm going to shut up for a while and let you listen to the soothing sounds of the rain and rivers. brings us to the end of the coverage for today with Hurricane Helene headed our way. This is certainly a developing story and we will be keeping you updated with new content as it develops. Please stay safe out there and as dry as possible. For more information on this story or other Smoky Mountain vacation info, head over to our website allaboutthesmokies.com. Allaboutthesmokies.com is the ultimate resource for all things Smoky Mountains. That does it for us. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. If you made it this far, like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.